What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today is part two of my phone script. This is a three part series. So definitely like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click that little bell so you can get notified when part three comes out. And definitely go back and watch part one, which I will link below. I also do live trainings from this channel twice a week. Just let me know if there's anything in the world that I can do for you. I'm still answering all of my Instagram messages. That's the best place to get me. Reach out, say hello, or ask a question. Now the part one video I did on my phone script really went into how we approach the call. And we really want to engage and connect with our prospect within the first 1.7 seconds. That is the moment that they're going to judge you and really try to figure out if they are even interested in moving forward and continuing with the conversation. A lot of people have bad calls and they think it's just because the person on the other end is mean when in fact it's really your fault because you didn't connect with them. You didn't communicate correctly in the very beginning of the call and really grab their attention and engage and fit, make them feel like they can have a conversation with you. Make them feel comfortable with you. And that's the entire key when you're on the phone with prospects is to make them feel comfortable with you. That is the golden rule with making calls. The golden rule is making them feel comfortable with you by being comfortable with them, they're going to feel that, they're going to feed off that, and then everything's going to go a lot smoother. It takes people a long time to really develop this skill. Sometimes I see salespeople that make calls, thousands and thousands of calls, and they're not quite there yet, and some of them give up, right? Thousands and thousands of calls in. But then I see salespeople that keep going, and they get to the five, and the 10, and the 15,000, and they develop this skill, and they end up really, really incredible sales people. So don't give up on this. That's really the main message of today is don't give up. Don't think that you're just not good at this because nothing's happening after a couple thousand calls. Some people do deals quicker than others. It takes other people different lengths of time and practice. Every call you make, you need to think this is practice so that I can get a little better for the next call. That call is just to get a little better for the next call, so on and so forth. You can't, you'll never call every single person, every prospect in the world that is in your market. It will never happen. So therefore, you can take on every prospect as practice. Now let's run through the first part of the script really quickly just to have a little refresher here. Okay, you guys can also go back to part one and you know watch the finer details of this, but they're gonna answer the phone. We're gonna say, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth over here at EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. How are you doing today? We're gonna listen, we're gonna stop, we're gonna listen. They're gonna say whatever, we're gonna say, cool, man, well listen, I'm just enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous out there? Or something in there. Okay, how's that Super Bowl? How about this, how about that? You getting ready for Christmas, how was your new year? Whatever, you just wanna throw them off a little bit and this helps take the tension off. Okay, it really releases and takes the pressure off the entire situation of this being an unsolicited call. Then comes the awkward part of the call where they're like, yeah, I'm enjoying the day. Cause they're kind of wondering, what do you want? This is when we have to stick the transition. And we, as soon as we realize this, we gotta keep the conversation going at a very nice flow. And we're gonna say, cool, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but there's the transition. Cool, look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but okay, that is the transition. You need to learn to stick that transition. All right, whenever the awkward part comes, boom, you stick it in there and it makes everything just flow. I'm enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it is, yeah, I'm more enjoying it too. What can I do for you, Ricky? Cool, no, yeah, I just didn't want to take up too much of your time, but, right, and then we lay on exactly why we're calling. Okay, it gives us a nice little segue into why we're calling. Okay, cool, well look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but, and then it could be anything from there. Whatever we're selling could be any kind of, you know, anything, right? But let's talk about it in terms of real estate, okay? Cool, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner from you just sold, right? Or I saw your house was on the market last week. Now it's not because it's expired. I see you're trying to sell your house by owner, okay? I saw you were looking online right, at some properties, whatever it is. We need to have something in there. It needs to be short and sweet and to the point. 
cool, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but I wanna let you know there was a house right around the corner from me that just sold, and I didn't know if there's anything in the world that I could do for you today. Boom, okay. So if you notice, what we're doing here is we're offering information Okay, we're coming into the call. We're not just throwing them straight into a sales pitch. We're trying to have a somewhat of a regular conversation that's not really just trying to pitch them on something. Then we're letting them know we don't want to take up too much of the time. We want to respect their time. And then we want to give them something of value, some market information, or let them know we know something. Okay, and then just simply ask them if there's something we can do to help. If there's something we can do to offer our services to help them. And this is the key. You wanna think of your business as a, as a vehicle to help people. You don't wanna think of your business as a business just to close people. You wanna think of your, your business as a vehicle to help people. When you start to think of your business as a vehicle to help people, your business will explode. And at the end of the day, what you wanna do is you want to be a data collector. Right? You just want to make friends with people who give you their data. This is the name of the game. How many friends can we make in our market today? So this is the second part of the call, okay? This is part two of this video series, and literally it's, cool, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but give them value something of value and then say, listen, I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. Not what you can do for me, not will you sell a house so I can make some money. No, what can I do for you? And that's gonna throw them off a little bit because they're not used to an agent who isn't just trying to get them to buy or sell something. You know, it's gonna make them think for a second and they're gonna realize you're different and this is gonna help you stand out. So I wanna share with you a little clip right now of me doing this live and stay tuned for part three coming up. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Patrick. Hey, Mr. Patrick, Ricky Carruth down here at EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. How you doing today? Cool, man, yeah, I'm enjoying the day, bro. It is gorgeous out here, isn't it? Yeah, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but there was a house right around the corner from me that just sold. Didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you. 